Yeah, please just ignore the fact that I'm in another, another place. But hey, not the point. I've been putting this off for a while and, um... I've never put off a story quest for this long. You know what I've been busying myself over with the past couple weeks? Baiju, 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 Baiju. His banner sales did horrible. Weird. I guess uh, he's like a comfort character people would pull for, but uh, other than that, yeah. He's an interesting character to me, right? But I, I'm not like hell bent on wanting this character. He's interesting for sure, like, he has Changshen oh and all that. Very mysterious character. He is dying of a disease while tr being the best doctor he can to nurse all of Li Yue, essentially. With the help of Chi Chi, of course. Yeah, that, we don't know much. We don't know much. Ooh, and the, 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 the logo is like the shape of a, uh, what do you call those in, uh... Gourd. Well, it's called Hulu in Chinese, so... The Heart of Healing. The search for a physician. Go to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Someone seems to be asking for help outside Boo Boo Pharmacy. Orders given. Orders received in Herbalist Gui. My name's Ayu, and I'm here because... Hey there, Chi Chi! Hi, Gui! What's going on? Oh, okay, well, thanks for interrupting. Hi, Traveler and Paimon. You remember me? Ah, uh, you've actually come at the perfect time. This little boy seems to have gotten himself lost. I think he must be new to the city. Probably wandered away from his parents and... Uh... No, listen to me! I'm not the one who's lost! It's my dad! Yo, dad... Oh, shit. Uh... My dad's always been kind of forgetful. In the past, he was just a little slow to react sometimes. But I'm worried that it's getting more serious. What about your mom? She went out a few days ago to gather some herbs for my dad, but she still oh. hasn't come back. Meanwhile, my dad's been getting worse and worse. So your mom's lost too. I took a moment to ask the Millilith guards for directions to the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. And then, when I turned back around, my dad was gone. So your mom got lost first, and then your dad just disappeared out into thin air. You came to the right place. We're pros at finding people. Isn't that right, Traveler? It'll be a piece of cake for us. Changshan can help. She has a good Chung sense Sun? of smell, oh. like a dog. Oh, she a dog. <laughs> dog. Hey, who's talking about me behind my back? Aw, dog. Also, Baiju, wow. Cheng Sheng, Chi Chi meant that as a compliment. There's no need to be upset. Hello, child. You mentioned that you were looking for the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy. How the might we be of service? Here. The man is here. You have a talking snake? Oh, are you Uncle Baiju? The one and only. <laughs> Uncle Baiju. Cheng Sheng, now's not the time. <laughs> He's not that old. I explained his father's health situation to Baiju. I see. And your family lives near Qingsa Village, you say? I visit patients there frequently, but I don't recall ever seeing you or your parents. Are you? By any chance, is your mother's name Jiang Li? Do you know my mom, Dr. Baiju? I certainly do. I wonder how many tries the, the the voice actors have to go through, how many takes for the for the pronunciations of the Chinese characters. I'm just curious, in like the audio booths. Ayu's parents are old acquaintances of mine, so I would very much like to assist with the search. Would the two of you have time to join me? Chi Chi and I need to clear up the shop front first, but okay. once that's taken care of, we'll be right out to help you with the search. Family is very important. The Hearts of Healing. There we go. Laginaria, Chapter Act One. You know when I when, when I say act, it reminds me that Yoi Mi is getting an act two, which is still insane. Can you believe that little boy brought his father all this way to see the doctor? Oh, what a remarkable child! I wish I was that reliable, dude. When I was his age, I was doing fuck all. Now, I'm sorry to say that we've searched the surrounding area thoroughly, but didn't find anything. The guards at the crossing up ahead said they hadn't seen anyone either, so we don't believe he was heading towards the Guayli Plains. But it is possible that he was bound for Lu Hua Pool. Oh. Lu Hua Pool? Why do you just The terrain there leave? can be tricky to navigate. Let's hope he hasn't run into any trouble. We'll take that area. Ha hey, that's where I was during the. Uh... Dad! Dad, can you hear me? Is that him? Oh no! It's hey you! Stop! Don't go any further! 
There's fall damage. My guy, my guy. Yo. Watch where you're going. Who tell? Oh, it is. I thought I recognized the. Actually, what do you what do you even call that? <laughs> Dear customer, Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor does appreciate your patronage, but you needn't hasten the inevitable. Are you all right? Even she has. <laughs> yeah. Dad. Hey, Hotel. My my, who hmm. do we have here? I didn't expect her to show up. <laughs> it's the traveler in Paimon. You who? And. Uh, my worst nightmare. Right. You cure. You body. Well, bag. Well, no. Body. Body box. <laughs> I see she still hasn't warmed to you. Well, I mean, in her quest, right? In Hu Tao's quest, she kind of also, like, saves people, right? She saves the souls of people, guides them to the afterlife. But, like, their jobs, their occupations. Conflicting. Dad, are you okay? Do you recognize me? It's me, Ayu! Uh, uh, you're. Ayu? Oh, man. Uh, uh, mm, uh, who am I? What is this? Um, amnesia? Dementia? Wh Your what's name is happening? Yao Liang, and you live just west of Qingsa Village. You were supposed to come to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor. Remember? Does that jog your memory? I feel bad for the kids. He seems in really bad shape. We need to get him back to Boo Boo Pharmacy right away! Sorry, Hotel, gotta dash! Dinner's on us next time! Thanks. Uh, hold on a second. Hi. You're not seriously thinking of taking him to Boo Boo Pharmacy in this state, are you? Come on, Baiju. Don't tell me you haven't noticed it. Didn't your master teach you how to spot the signs? There are traces of god remains in Jia Liang's system. Archon residue? More importantly, they're on the verge of an outburst. Oh. If that happens, the consequences will be uh, unthinkable. That's what... Oh, shit. Okay, how the hell... What is it? I don't know if it's, like, specifically Archon residue or... There's no need to worry, Director Hu. I have methods of keeping them at bay. Is there a cure for this? It is the sworn duty of all who practice medicine to cure illnesses and save lives. What reason would I have to neglect a patient in need who is right there in front of me? Besides, it was my late master's dying wish to be able to save this patient in particular. Oh. Perhaps out of respect for him, you could give me a day's grace so that I have time to treat him? Now you're bringing my great uncle into this? Baiju, just what are you planning this time? Your great uncle was his master. I didn't know that. <sighs> Merely to cure this man, nothing more. Well. But of course, if you have any doubt as to my intentions, you are more than welcome to accompany me to Boo Boo Pharmacy mm, and monitor my activities. No, 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 she's gonna, no, Chi Chi, go hide, please. Chi Chi, Chi Chi. Well, time is of the essence. Let's get ourselves back to Boo Boo Pharmacy at once. The group returns back to the back room of Booba Farms. Hmm, oh. blockages within the cardiovascular system, reduced blood flow and energy circulation. This is new. This is a new soundtrack. Oh, I've never heard this before. Oh, it's a sad one. Oh, I don't, I don't like sad ones. They're playing sad ones so early on in the story because I don't like sad ones. Oh, oh man. Uh-oh. The sad ones are composed the best sometimes. I'm just saying. Right? Are you? Do you know when your father first started displaying these symptoms? <laughs> That's the accurate medicine bags um, for Chinese medicine. I'm not medicine. sure. He's been like this for as long as I can remember. But it wasn't as bad as this when I was still little. He's been taking care of his dad all this time. I have a treatment plan in mind. We can start tonight. Come and see me again tomorrow morning. I promise that by then, Ayu will find his father healthy and lucid again. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Baiju. Thank you so much. If you still have any misgivings, Director Hu, please feel free to hang around for as long as you wish. <laughs> That's interesting that they introduced like a new soundtrack like this. Then again, then again, Li Yue's like OST as a whole, I don't think it has like a lot of very like emotional tracks. The closest that's come to um, is probably Qingzi Village. 
And that that's almost more like that that's more like nostalgic ish of an OST. That's not like sad and emotional compared to this. Forgive me for analyzing the music for too long. Bye for now, everyone. Bye bye. Good luck with that. Are you ready, Baiju? Oh. Ready as I'll ever be. I'm used to it by now. You're used to Come it. Come on, let's get started. Does this take a toll on you? You know, Paimon's kind of curious after hearing Baiju mention those people from his past. What do you think they were like? You mean Baiju's master? You mean Ayu's mother? I'm more curious. He knows... Uh, yeah. yeah. This is the last time, I swear to God, I'm going to bring up Star Rail in a, in a Genshin video. Genshin does do character story quests much better than Honkai. Not as in the plot, but as in setting. Camera work. Cam well, camera work, because it's like in-game. Well, camera work. In Star Rails, like, their version of story quest, it's just been like, I guess, NPC to NPC convo. It's not like a full-on... Oh, we set a whole camera, camera shot for this particular conversation. Yada, yada, yada. And there's a lack of cutscenes, too, for those. Which I'm, I'm hoping they put more of. There's, there's been like one cutscene in, um, in Serval's story, but that's more like a CG to me. While I'm idling time on admiring the scenery, the spectacled snake bedecked docks doing surgery. Bars. We were just a little curious about Baiju's master. What was he like? Baiju's master was my grandpa's younger brother. A former deputy mm. director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Deputy wow, director. Fancy. If he was from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, how did he end up as Baiju's master? Well, I mean, like preparing like this, this ceremonial funerals are complicated too. Probably involves some sort of like medicinal steps. He and my great uncle once went traveling together when they were young. Mm -hmm. They ended up at Chen Yu Vale, where they met a pharmacist. Chen Yu Vale. That pharmacist must have cast. Some sort of spell on my great uncle. Because after that encounter, oh, damn. he suddenly announced he wanted to leave the family business and go practice medicine instead. Hey, sorry, lads. I, I, I found a new passion. See you later. My grandpa had a huge argument with him, but he couldn't convince him to stay. Darn, just like just like that? So my grandpa inherited the funeral parlor. Mm, while yeah, my great uncle yeah. stayed in like Chinese Vale to practice medicine. They never spoke to each other again. According to my grandpa, the pharmacist they met had a very ominous aura about him. And on top of that, the kind of medicine practiced in the Chen Yu Vale tradition goes against the natural order of things. One thing I do know about Baiju is that he's obsessed with the idea of immortality. But whether that has anything to do with what he's hiding is hard to say. I was almost going to bring up Star Rail again. I'll stop. I'll... I'll. Stop myself from doing that, uh, immortality. Anyway, so I will be sticking around here for now to keep a close eye on mm. the situation. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally figure out what he's up to. Well, we've seen what immortality could do to, uh, entire civilization in some other place. Maybe think twice about that, Baiju? There are other ways of curing people other than making them live internally. Any luck? Dad! Uh, uh, oh, are you? Oh. Dad, you remember me! Yes, I remember now. Oh, are you? I'm so oh, sorry. Good. What did Baiju do? Worry, That's wonderful. I can't thank you enough, Dr. Baiju. My pleasure, really. It's the least I can do to honor my late master's dying wish. If anything, I should be apologizing to you for not making the time to visit in all these years. <laughs> not at all, Dr. Baiju. It's only because Jiang Li... Uh, mm. Mm. What was her reason again? Oh. No, it's not completely... You're still in the early stages of recovery, yeah. so you'll need to take it easy for a while. So what take was it? Take it slowly like... and try not to overexert yourself. I suggest you stay at Boo Boo Pharmacy and rest. For at least the next few days. Low res junction. I don't know what's up with my pixels. It's doing that. Mm, it seems like 
the evil presence is gone after all. You really did manage to suppress it, huh? But how did you accomplish this in a single night? Yeah, I would like to know as well. <laughs> that would be a trade secret, I'm afraid. If that gives you any cause for concern, you may continue to monitor Jia Liang for as long as you wish. He's not absorbing the residue, right? Taking on the pain himself? Though, he I said regret to say that Ubu Pharmacy it. cannot offer to reimburse Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for any revenue lost in the meantime. <laughs> God dang it, my profits! Ah. Oh, something's wrong. I've been stuck indoors for too long! Baiju, take me outside for some air, mm -hmm. or I'm going to suffocate. Ah, yes, of course. Everyone, please excuse Changsheng and myself for a moment. He's not well. I mean, he's dying, I know that, but... <coughs> oh shit, he got that corona. Suffering now, are we? Did you seriously expect to cover it up just by putting on a brave face and ignoring it? If it weren't for my quick thinking, They'd have all seen the sorry state you're in by now. <sighs> but in any case, why must you keep this a secret from everybody? You should at least share your secret with one person you trust. Psych, we're not gonna let you decide who that is. It's us now. Who's there? Why did you follow us here? I thought you were looking a little unwell. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. I just needed to get some air. <coughs> yeah? You, you were saying? What did I just say about putting on a brave face? <sighs> Traveler, Paimon, the truth is, Baiju did not cure Jia Liang's illness. So what did you do? Instead, he transferred some of his own life force to his patient to temporarily subdue the poison in his system. That's what's killing him? That's what's killing him? You're giving your life away. My predecessors in medicine forged a contract with Changsheng. Every successor to this contract is able to use Changsheng's secret art to treat patients. And Changsheng's art is to transfer life forces. I believe the irregularities with Jia Liang's heart meridian were likely caused by a poison concocted using god remains as a key ingredient. God, he and now that he's 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 given up on putting up a front. Oh my... Oh, he sounds... His condition sounds bad. The poison has not been purged from Jia Liang's system. Rather, I infused him with some of my own he, life his, force, his using Changsheng as the delivery medium. This will suppress the poison's effects for a limited time. Well, what are you going to do when it, when it subsides? When, when, like when the effects go away? You just give more of your life to him? Changsheng? You can do that? Huh. I don't always thought you would just buy your strange choice of a necklace. Oh no, I, I knew there was something up with the snake. Hey, I'll have you know that I commanded the respect of even the Adepti back in Chenyu Vale. If anything, he is my mannequin. Please, that's enough. <laughs> oh god. You're looking even worse now than before. Are you sure you're okay? No, the goddamn he's not. Did you not hear what he said? When you transfer your life force, does that mean you're actually damaging your own body? Yeah, how does it work? Hardly. <laughs> Changsheng helps to keep my chi in balance, so there is no great harm done. But it still means you're... Like, the more you do it, you're just gonna eventually die early. Hmm? Still, Baiju's life force is not unlimited. We must find a way to neutralize the poison in Jia Liang's body. And soon. Would you lend this dummy a hand? <laughs> he dummy. needs someone checking up on him. Or he'll exhaust himself trying to accomplish everything on his own. Go on, Baiju. Let, me, let us help you. Baiju, don't you think you should seize this opportunity? You cannot expect to hide care. this from everyone for your entire life. Time will see that all secrets surface eventually. Entire life. Thank you, Traveler and Paimon. What was that? The poison in Jia Liang's system must have accumulated over a prolonged period. 
I think I should pay a visit to their family home and look for clues as to how he might have been exposed to it. Ah, uh, in your state? You know, we can just go for you, but then yes. we need his I medical knowledge this morning too. Before you arrived. Uh. We should also keep an eye out for Ayu's missing mother, my fellow disciple, uh, Jiani. that's how he knows her. She was indeed. We studied medicine together under the same master near mm. Chen Yu Vale. She is several years older than I and also began her travels far earlier than me. As a result, the time I spent studying alongside her was rather short. And yet she became your disciple. Supposedly, she met an herb gatherer sometime during her travels hmm. and decided to settle down with him. That must have been Jia Liang. The last time she visited us, she and Master had some sort of quarrel. We never heard from her after that. It almost seemed as if she'd gone into hiding. All he would say is that should I ever encounter Jiang Li or her family in the future, I should do everything in my power to help them. So that's why you went to such extreme lengths to help Jia Liang. It's a promise. Paimon never knew you were so selfless, Baiju. Paimon always had you down as the... Sneaky, scheming type. Let's split up. But if anyone finds anything, we'll examine it together. Where is he looking? Ah. Okay. Observe wooden pillars. Several faint marks can be seen on the pillar. Maybe it was used to record Ayu's height when he grew up. There's some fate arising near the bottom mark. The more quickly Ayu grows up, the sooner it can leave. Oh. Judging by the number of marks on the pillar, the farming has led a sec secluded existence here for many many years was that the mother <laughs> okay observe stacks of wood the firewood is neatly stacked the logs were cut in with great power and precision whoever chopped the firewood must have been physically fit some logs at the bottom of the palm have begun to rot it is it must have been a while since any new wood has been added to the pile. Dire with childish handwriting. Oh. Some roof tiles broke. Mom and I tried to get up and take a look, but we didn't manage. Luckily, Dad was able to fix them in no time. Dinner table was a bit wobbly today and we when we sat down to eat. Dad tried to fix it, but ended up breaking one of the legs by accident. Dad's forgetting things again. I have to write it down for now. Read it back to him when he's feeling be a bit better. Wh what is this? Oh. Oh, no. Not the... This is a poison concocted using god remains. Some toxins act a lot like living organisms. I read about this once in the origins and symptoms of diseases. This ancient class of poisons consists of mother and minor loads, capable of sustaining a connection over vast distances. If it's a concoction of this kind we're dealing with, then both the poison in Jia Liang's system and this one here are likely minor loads. Offshoots, essentially. Whoever is administering the poison can manipulate the source to indirectly control the poisoned individual's behavior and even cognition. Similarly, the poisoned individual will hear, to a varying extent, the call of the source. The call of the... Wait, so back when Jia Liang ran off, maybe that explains where he was heading! He was going back to Qingzi village. Only one thing could have been drawing him there. The source of the god remains used as the poison's key ingredient. The mother. the mother load. Was the wife trying to cure him using this? But it's a poison though. <clears throat> Since this poison was carefully hidden away in a secret compartment, the one who concocted it is likely a resident of the house. Someone else who lives here, and who might have expertise in crafting the drugs. wife. The mother. <gasps> it was Jiang Li? It's too early to draw any conclusions. We should question Jia Liang about it once he has made more progress in his recovery. Do you know of a method to neutralize the poison? Yes. According to the origins and symptoms of diseases, the minor loads will disappear if the mother load is purged. Do you know anything about God remains in Qingsa village? I've only heard the rumors, nothing concrete. Changsheng's memories and powers are not what they were in her prime. Mm, were you like 
Orobashi sized. These days, she has to enter a contract with a mortal and share their life force just to sustain her own life. I fear that such ancient events are long gone from her memory by now. So not only is Baidu sharing his life with the snake, he's gonna he's also giving it to others. With my assistance in rebalancing your chi, not only can you extend your lifespan, but you will also be stronger, healthier, and able to eat whatever you like with no risk of upsetting your stomach. Because after the case, I'm go I'm going to the burger joint every day. Maybe when you retire, you can let Paimon sign the contract with Chung Sheng for a few days. <laughs> Strange, Baiju has a weak constitution, and didn't his master pass away at an early age? Ugh, Paimon's mad. You're getting ugly nicknames, both of you. Baiju, you're Manny Man. Manny Man. Pain in the neck. This is exactly why your natural temperament makes you woefully unsuited to being my host. All right, everybody, calm down. Back to the matter at hand. Is there any way at all for us to seek counsel from the Adepti about this? Well, we happen to know just a few, you know. Actually, I do have someone to call. What? If you're talking about who Paimon thinks you're talking about, you better do the honors. Shall? <laughs> I was like, wait, why are they walking? Babe, <laughs> you home? Oh my. You called? He's getting married already, you two. God, just instantly. Ah! Ugh, gets pine on every time. Ugh. Are all Adepti in the habit of materializing out of thin air like this? Well, this is unexpected. Mm hmm. Yeah, Conqueror of Demons. Huh? It's you. Baiju of Boo Boo Pharmacy. I do believe I've had the pleasure before. The Lantern Rite, when we met briefly, I was oh. unaware of your true identity. I... Our paths have crossed once before. I sense the presence of evil spirits. Is this why you called me? There's a surprising amount of char characters showing up in the story. You tell Xiao everything that has happened. So someone has been concocting demonic poison. Yes. Too often. Fervent desires drive mortals to abandon all regard for their own safety. It is lamentable. Lament! I now know what you seek. It is true that a god's remains are buried beneath the foundations of Chingsa village. Hmm. A vile monster known as the Chu once wrought havoc over this Chuh. land, before it was subdued by Rex Lapis. The land was finally cleansed of poison when Rex Lapis used statues in his likeness to seal the serpent's remains. Chinksa Village was founded some time after that. Wait, wasn't there that one quest? Like, at the very, very start of the game, like 1.0? Right, this thing. The Chi of Yore, the Chi of Guyun, that giant floating golden ball thing. These are related, aren't they? I kind of barged in there, like, two years ago. I'm sorry. I do not like to intervene against mortals unless absolutely necessary. But when demonic forces are involved, Things can spiral out of control. If that happens, be sure to call my name again. I will. Thank you, Shell. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> right. Adepti, yeah. Nothing. I do not wish to sway decisions that are mortals to make, but immortality may not be the blessing that you imagine it to be. Thank you, Shell. I shall treasure your words of instruction, Master Adeptus. Farewell. Bye. If the god remains are leaking from underground, Jiang Li must be paying a visit to a subterranean cave on her herb gathering trips. Mm. Hmm. If we can find the cave. Is it the same cave? <laughs> Ma Master! Master! There's a problem! Oh, oh no, J J J the dad? It's. it's Jiao Yang! He was he was fine one minute and then he suddenly took a turn for the worse. Already? How? Based on past experience, he should have been fine for the next three days at least. It seems that my worst fears have been confirmed. Everyone, back to Boo Boo Pharmacy now. Hmm? Dad, what's wrong? Dad. Sing it uh, How is he doing? Not good. T 
Dr. Baiju, you're back. My dad was doing fine earlier, but then he suddenly started coughing up blood. Now he can't even get a full word out anymore. When Gui left, he was still conscious, but now... Don't worry, Ayu. I will cure your father. Mm, with that again? Wow, you're not even gonna let me write. Of course, he said it's gonna be disturbing him. Oh, please don't worry. Dr. Baiju will find a way. But... but... <laughs> it's tw two days in a row, man. That's too much of a toll on his body. Even if there's a god just like buffing his HP right around his neck. The length this man goes to. How are you feeling, Dad? Are you still hurting anywhere? I'm feeling much better. In fact, oh god. I can't explain it, but somehow I feel even better than usual. Oh god, how much life force did he give him? Hmm. Wait, where's Dr. Baiju? I still haven't had a chance to thank him. Seems he moved me here before I came to. Dude. Master said he needed to take a quick rest and asked me to bring you out of the treatment room. He hasn't emerged yet, so he must still be resting. <sighs> Shit, we gotta go check on him. Oh. I'm like actually worried. Dude's gonna kill himself. Ugh, this track again. You're finally awake? <sighs> that was far too risky. Even with me here to help you balance your chi. There was no time. I had no other choice. In any case, it was not completely without benefit to myself. I managed to learn something. Jiang Li's design is quite brilliant. She makes numerous innovations that I can learn from. Alas, if only there wasn't a catch. So, how much longer do you think Baishu's gonna nap for? They've been outside waiting for you the whole time while you were asleep. Shall we at least go and show our faces? <sighs> All right. Are you both okay? Of course. There's no need to be concerned. I merely had to transfer a rather large amount of life force on this occasion. Oof. But, with Changsheng's help, I will recover in time. Dude, you cannot keep doing this. I... made an error in my initial diagnosis. Jia Liang is in fact suffering from more than one ailment. Jia Liang has a rare congenital heart condition, mm -hmm. and ongoing treatment is essential to maintaining healthy functioning of his heart meridian. Left untreated, it puts the patient at risk of coughing up blood and fainting, and in the longer term, causes irreversible damage to the internal organs. Though it was created from god remains, this formula is not a poison in Jia Liang's case. Rather, it's his medication. It was used as... Oh, shh. Using poison to treat a disease is hardly a viable long-term solution. As time passed, and the poison accumulated in his system, it began to impact his cognition. It was the best they could think of. It was the best his, his wife could think of. The longer he relied upon this medicine, the more resistant his body became to it. Jiang Li had to concoct ever greater quantities to ensure its continued efficacy, or he could have still perished at any moment. That explains why Ayu said his dad has been giving worse, and why his mom went off to gather herbs. God remains are extremely dangerous to be around, because humans have no natural defense against them. I shudder to think how many times Jiang Li has exposed herself to them. That's why she's missing. Oh god, oh. No, this is about to be hella sad, I know it. To sacrifice one's own life to save others. To go beyond human means in order to do the impossible. Whatever the cost may be. Fate. Her regular exposure to god remains over such a long period will have been catastrophic for her health. And given that she's already been missing for several days, I am fearing the worst. Oh no! He overheard it! I it's me, Traveler, Dr. Baiju. Don't tell Paimon you overheard we don't need. Already. We don't need added stress to your condition. Dr. Baiju, 
please, let me come with you. No, 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 no. Oh my god. You've already done so much for my family. I can no longer just sit here and watch while you put yourself at risk for Jiang Li's sake. After all, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have had to put herself in harm's way in the first place. I know I won't be of much help in battle, but at the very least, I can show you the way. You, you didn't choose to be like this, but... Oh, she loves you enough to sacrifice herself for you, and you love her enough to sacrifice. Ah. No, 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 no. Brace for tears. I'm just, I'm just gonna. We're out of time. We have to go now before I forget everything again. Hmm. This story quest is so depressing. Oh. This trip will be extremely dangerous, and there is a very real possibility that you will not return from it. Are you sure you're prepared for that? She wouldn't want that for you, though. That's <laughs> I never expected to live this long in the first place. Uh, My death is already long overdue. So why should I fear it? Please come back as a whole family. There's only one thing I fear now. And that's that I'll forget her again before we manage to find her. Very well. Then follow me. Oh. Another person overheard it. Thank God it's a playable character. Could you please prepare a dose of the usual formula? Please add an extra measure of mist grass pollen and one dose each oh. of the ingredients from the third and fifth compartments of my medicine cabinet. I hope it works. Uh, Dr. Baishu, do you mean... Pop to it now. Oh. And remember to be careful with the cauldron this what time. What does that formula do? Wu Tao, I saw you. Wu Tao, Wu Tao, I saw you just now. Wu Tao. Remember, sir, I, I forgot myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chi Chi. I'm off. I'm useless. Everyone, please be careful. Oh, try. Oh, what the f I swear to God, every single time. Uh, oh. This place feels familiar. The domain. I think I've been here before. It's the domain. There is an inauspicious presence here. Even I can sense it. I think I remember this place. <sighs> Maybe you should rest here while we continue the search. We're taking like two terminally ill people to save a person that's probably also fatally ill. Oh. I'd rather them, these people, I'd rather these two just be spectators, if I'm being honest. No, I have to keep going. Jiang Li is still waiting for me. Oh, oh, don't think I don't see that. Swan Fury! Xiao, he actually didn't disappear after the dialogue. I can see that edgy boy from a mile away. Hmm? From the looks of it, you've already tracked down the location of the source? We've made some progress. Really? That's good to hear. Have you been standing guard here the entire time? I cannot simply look the other way when evil spirits are involved. In any case, the evil presence here is growing stronger. I can sense it. Whatever you're planning to do, make it quick. If you leave it too long, and I am compelled to intervene, things may not turn out the way you wish. <sighs> I'll do, buddy. I just saw the little midgets. I know he's... Are they just bullying him because he's short, you know? Just make him even smaller? Entanglement of past dreams. The restless force within Jialiang has been beckoning him ceaselessly, drawing everyone to this place. Here, the stench of evil is growing, and the curtains of fate are soon to fall. And I'm guessing trial by Jew. On the creeps. Who knows what we're gonna find up ahead? The digging marks here appear amateur and rather old. I suspect it is a thieves' tunnel. I remember now. She took me here once and told me that she'd found a way to save me in this cave. But she. Uh, she said that the method would cause me to. Uh, uh, Lose memories. Uh, curses! Why can't I remember what she said? Do we know which god this is Easy that she's harvesting yum. from? Mind the side effects. Bro, it's... 
You're telling me one of his skill sounds is him coughing? There's a sensor here. Those treasure hoarders sure made themselves at home. I don't see any dust on the sensor's surface. The burn marks on the inside are still fresh. It's not. It's Young Lee's. I believe this sensor was used to burn a monster repelling incense. Oh, kind of like the mosquito ones, right? Uh, you sure? Because we did run into that group of monsters just now. The incense wore off, which means, oh, it's not been lit for a while. Or maybe this is just a camp that's like, you know, an old camp, right? You know, she just moved to a new camp further into the cave. I'm coping. This is where... I told Jung Lee to give me the poison. <coughs> Jung Lee! I'm fine. Let's keep going. I can feel it. She, she, she is right below us, waiting for me. Dude, what is this story quest doing, bro? Uh, I can't take any more of this, bro. This this shit is heartbreaking. I've done my fair share of puzzle solving these past few days. To which there is more monsters. <coughs> Lovely. One of his running dialogues is also him coughing. But by Ju. I don't even want to make the man run. I've never had like this feeling that I feel bad putting someone on my team. That's the remains. Why is there a Geovish? Why? Uh, Jung Lee! Look out! Uh, there's a monster next to her! The god remains must have lured them here. Watch my back! Geovish up. One to whom the cheese loathsome blood clings. <laughs> Mind the side effects. Jung Lee? Oh, Dr. Baiju! How serious is it? Is she... I can still feel a pulse, but her condition is quite grave. The god remains here are encroaching on her cognition, much as the poison in your system did to you. Which god is this? If we don't eliminate it soon, then even if we save her life, I fear that she may never wake up again. Right, let's get to it. It's not as simple as that. Don't you remember what Baiju said? The poison within Jialyang's body is inextricably linked to the god remains here. Oh god. Wait, we take it out, we save his wife's life, but he is... His heart condition just sounds... Oh god. Fuck. 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 If the source is purged, the poison in his system will stop having any effect. He just die on the spot. And the poison within Jia Liang's body is keeping his heart condition under control. So, if it stops working... He just have a cardiac arrest right there and then. Oh no. Are you saying... Oh, only one of them's leaving this place. If the god remains here are purged, then your life will come to an end. <sighs> I wondered when this day might come. Wait, wait, wait! But... We've all been working our butts off to save Jia Liang's life! After all that, we can't just give up on him! Do you have a better solution, Paimon? And it appears to me that she was striving to concoct your medicine for you. Right up until the moment when she lost consciousness. Maybe it's her greatest wish that you will continue to take it. Dude, imagine, imagine they let us pick an ending. Good lord. Good lord. The god remains have reached her internal organs. Under ordinary circumstances, I would give her less than Ooh. three days. But if I were to treat her using no. a secret art... No, not that either. But what would be the point of that? Dr. Baiju, I'm all too aware of the dangers of god remains. You are not the first to mention it to me. If I continue to sustain my own life using this wretched substance, not only would Jiang Li have to keep risking her life to make my medicine for me, oh, but I would have to live with the looming threat of these remains 
breaking out and wreaking havoc not just upon me, but my entire family. I know for a fact that I should have died over a decade ago. The fact that I've been around to see how you grow up is already a great blessing from Rex Lapis. If my choice can bring Jiang Li back, then even if I, uh, uh, even if I die, <laughs> after cheating death for so long, it seems I've grown somewhat addicted to life. <sighs> Traveler, Dr. Baiju, could I have another minute with my wife? I just want to have one final moment together. Just a moment, that's all. Of course. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry that I won't be able to repay your kindness in this life. Jiang Yang, Baiju Changsheng, is there really nothing else you can do? I am sure that over the years, Jiang Li will have tried all the conventional methods known to humankind. As for less conventional methods, I have little expertise besides Changsheng's secret art. Mortals are fated to grow old and pass sun when their natural lifespan runs out. If it were so easy to combat the natural processes of aging and death, Jiang Li would not have had to resort to unnatural methods. What a crazy situation! Jiang Li risked it all to save Jia Liang's life, and now Jia Liang has to sacrifice himself to save Jiang Li! <gasps> What's the point of it all? All we can do right now is honor Jia Liang's decision and bear witness. I've seen many final farewells in my time, but I can never get used to it. In the human realm, all things must come to an end. Is it not a fitting end to die for a worthy cause? At least, that's what generations of masters before you have always believed. The path they chose was indeed a heroic one. But when I think of those who would willingly sacrifice themselves for others, I cannot help but think that theirs are the lives least deserving of death. When all this began, we agreed that once Ayu was old enough to help you gather herbs, it would be time for me to go. <laughs> if you could only see him now. He took me all the way to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor. And he even got the adventurer's guild to search for you. <laughs> so, I know that you'll both be okay without me. <clears throat> mm. I've said my goodbyes. My time has come. Do what you must. So it's fine. As you wish. Eat away at both your cognition and your memories. In the end, you'll become little more than a shadow of your true self. The pact. I'll take it. At the very least, it will allow me to stay with you and watch how you grow up. It was never going to last. <laughs> Mom, something's really wrong with Dad. Don't fret, Ayu. I will gather some medicinal herbs right away. I promise you, nothing will happen to our family. <clears throat> Why would these memories come to mind now? Oh my god. She has to watch him die? Are you kidding me? <sighs> the longer we live, the tighter. We cling to what we have. It would have been fine if she was still passed out, but she woke up to see him die. Are you f Oh, how I would love to hear, to hear your voice one last time. Uh. 
Jia Liang. Jia Liang. Jia Liang. Jia Liang. Oh, what? Dad, are you awake? Wait, how? Uh, Jiang Li, are you? Wait, the talismans. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Aren't those the same ones on Chi Chi? A zombie? Didn't I... Huh? What are these? How does it feel to come back to life? They resurrected him. Dr. Baishu, I... I thought that I was going to... You did die. <laughs> die? You did indeed. As things stand now, you're more akin to a zombie than a human. Oh, they did. I'm a zombie? That's right. Before we set off, I asked Chi Chi to prepare an elixir of immortality. With its help, you have been suspended in the space between life and death. Of course, this is but a crude imitation of an adeptus art. I don't expect it to extend your life indefinitely. Only long enough. Whether it will keep you alive for a few days, a few months, or a few years, I am as interested as you to find out. But, however long you have left, I believe it should be more than sufficient time for you to say your final goodbyes before departing the world in peace. I hope that Director Hu finds this arrangement to be a satisfactory one. An elixir of immortality? How'd you cook that up? Ugh. Leave it to you to work on something like that behind my back. It's a work in progress that hardly lives up to its name, and it would have had no effect were it not for Jia Liang's iron will. In the end, I am merely a doctor. I understand very little of the great principles governing life and death and the perpetual cycle of yin and yang. It's not much, but oh, oh, fuck. Dude, I was holding my breath. Oh, fucking hell. All I know is that if I'm presented with a life that deserves to be saved, I will do everything in my power to save them. And even this would have counted for nothing without Director Hu's assistance. After all, did you not tell Jia Liang to show us the way before we set off for Qingsa Village? Oops. And I'm busted. Without Director Hu nudging things in the right direction, we may not have found Jiang Li in time. I knew someone was listening on to the conversation, so it was Hu Tao. <sighs> All I wanted was to help Jia Liang find his missing wife as soon as possible, so that he could be on his way to the afterlife without any unfulfilled wishes making the journey more difficult than it needs to be. Leave it to Boo Boo Pharmacy to snatch the perfect opportunity right out of my hands at the last hurdle. Never mind. I'll just have to put it down in the books as a deferred consideration. You know, at least make an exception like this one, Hu Tao. One Chi Chi was enough of a conundrum. The last thing I need's another one. If I'd known this was coming, I'd have whisked him off to the Wang Sheng funeral parlor the moment I found him. You stay away from my dad! When I grow up, I'm gonna become an even better doctor than Mom and Baiju, and cure Dad for good! <sighs> <sighs> Oh, is that right? Well, you wouldn't be the first person who's tried to put Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor out of business. If you're serious about it, you'll have your work cut out for you. Traveler, Paimon, I'll catch you all another time. Oh, is she finally gone? I still haven't gotten the cutscene. <laughs> At times like this, a grand celebratory feast is in order. Wait up, I'll come too. Baiju. Thank you so, so much for everything you've done for us. Don't mention it, Jiangli. I was just doing my duty. Just your duty, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Changsha nodded. Baiju, Changsheng, would you mind if we took this conversation outside? Oh. 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 Wait. Oh. I was just saying in Star Rail we don't get enough of the other POV. The POV. Okay. I'll take it back. Now that you are part zombie, you guys can be there zombie are besties. Some rules that you need to know. You need. Uh. Yes, ma'am. I'm listening. First. 
don't forget to stretch your body regularly. Second, don't forget to... Uh-oh. Uh, yes? Go on. Don't forget to... She forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Time flies. It's been so long since we bade each other farewell in Chen Yu Vale. Changsheng, you're the same as ever. You haven't changed one bit. You, on the other hand, have changed a lot. You're right. My younger self would have never imagined that things would one day turn out this way. Or that you'd turn out this way, Baizhou. Yeah, man earned his place in the be <laughs> playable category, playable characters category. I've taken a look at your elixir of immortality. It's not altogether dissimilar from the poison I concocted in terms of the way it functions. I have to say, Jiangli, it was a stroke of genius to use poison to maintain life. I hope you're not too upset at me for copying your methods. Plagiarism! No, not at all. With your intellect, even if you'd never seen my poison, I believe you would have eventually arrived at the same approach. But I'm still impressed by how quickly you managed to gain such a thorough understanding of it. Jia Liang's still only been in your care for a few days. Yes, the best doctor in all of Liyue. Baiju, be honest with me. Did you try out some of the poison on yourself? Huh. Told you the truth would surface sooner or later. Life Force isn't the only thing that Changsheng's contract lets you transfer between bodies, is it? Nothing gets past you, Jiangli. He absorbed his poison. Changsheng's secret art also allows for the transfer of toxins and diseases. When I treated Jia Liang for the second time, I transferred some of the poison from his body into my own. Not only did this allow me to alleviate the burden on him, but it also gave me an opportunity to study its properties. This story course is full of people who need to... God, keep yourself alive, think about yourself! There is no need to worry about any long-term consequences to my health, however. Still! Now that the source has been destroyed, any remaining poison in me will have already dissipated. But you took such a huge risk. If we hadn't destroyed the gods' remains back there, then even you might have... <sighs> What am I saying? I'm in no position to criticize you for this. The reason I left our master and went into hiding all those years ago was that he was getting old, and I didn't want him using up any more of his own life force to treat my husband. But in the end, how were my methods any different? I risked one life to save another, and then you tried the poison on yourself too. <sighs> It looks like both of us have ended up going the same way as our master before us. Are all disciples of Chen Yu Vale destined to turn out this way? To live a short life, haven't given away our own for the sake of others? To fight relentlessly against the natural course of life and death, whatever the cost? <sighs> Maybe our fate is sealed the moment we decide to study medicine. We are doctors, Jiang Li. We ought never say that anyone's fate is sealed. Baiju, I can tell that, over the years, you've used the contract with Changsheng to transfer many diseases and toxins to yourself. There are so many that some of them I don't even recognize. Dude, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Can you still stop before it's too late? I think you know the answer, Jiang Li. Every one of us from Chen Yu Vale believes in the same thing. Baiju, it's gonna kill you one day. Hey! Food's ready! Paimon, for fuck's sake! Baiju, I know I won't be able to convince you, but please don't forget that if one day you're not around anymore, Chi Chi, Gui, and all the friends who have grown fond of you. Exactly. They will all miss you dearly. The people that care for you, don't just... There's no need to worry, Jiang Li. I know what I'm doing. Do you? <sighs> this entire I story quest... So. 
Why is it so depressing? Baiyu, what did Jiang Li mean by not around anymore? Are you gonna be okay? Every single mortal I've ever contracted with, including Baiju and Jiang Li's master, has passed away at a young age. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. You said that the contract with you helps people live longer. <sighs> it is a very long story. Oh. Long ago, when plagues ravaged the land, one doctor made a pledge to rid the world of pain and suffering. Ooh. But even the most ingenious mortal medicine could not stay the tide of disease. And after working tirelessly for many years, even his dearest loved ones fell sick and bade their final farewell. Legends told of an herb lord in Chen Yu Vale who could cure any illness known to mankind. The doctor sought the herb lord, but found only a white snake, its breathing weak and its power all but spent. It's Tongshan's origin. Sign this contract and let our lives be joined. Then I will impart to you the secret art of healing. The first. But be warned, this art will harm your own health. With means beyond human ken, the doctor could now reverse the process of death. And yet, the time still came to say goodbye. Only now, the one departing was the doctor, his life force spent. His final act in life was to pass on the contract to his final patient, his favorite disciple. The disciple chose to dedicate their life to saving the lives of others. And generation upon generation and followed in these footsteps. It led to Baiju. <coughs> Since I inherited this contract, I've always respected the path taken by my predecessors and followed it myself unquestioningly. That is, until I tried to use the art to save my own disciples, beloved. She begged me not to use up my own life force. She said that this art is a poison chalice, an evil and unnatural practice. She did not wish to sacrifice one life for the sake of another, when both were lives she treasured. Only then did it occur to me. Did I not suffer when my master passed away? just as patients' families do at their loved one's deathbed? Are not the lives cut short by this to contract this music. just as worthy of saving as any patients? What is this contract to us? Medicine or poison? Alas, I no longer have enough time left to find the answer. I entrust to your care both Changsheng and this final question. May you find a remedy for this conundrum, which has ailed us so. Time and again, no matter how much I try to warn them or balance their chi, I can never save them. They'll, and they'll you? put others' What's lives answer? before their own. If I abandoned the contract and left you without a host, what would happen? I'd spend my final moments taking a nice nap on Mount Yaojin. Then I'd be reunited with my old friends and your predecessors. Then it's decided. If there's a life in front of me that deserves to be saved, why shouldn't I do everything within my power to save it? <sighs> Once again, it's the same answer. So be it. Close your eyes. Who knows how many more people will take on this contract? None. This contract will end with me. My contract has strict requirements on the host's natural temperament. 
All my hosts have been most pure of heart. Fuck. Bro, why is this noise? This shit so sad, bro. But when one with an altruistic nature gains access to this art, they are more seduced than the average person by the miracle of overturning the laws of life and death. Though they know better than anyone else the fate that awaits them, when faced with the sorrows of humanity and the pain of losing their nearest and dearest, they cannot help but reach beyond human means. They are like moths that throw themselves into the flame, seeking a glimmer of hope in a dark world filled with pain and suffering. So, by you, does that mean... <laughs> I suppose that would make me a moth that yearns for the light, but doesn't want to be burned to a crisp. Dude, they're playing Jinx the Village music? Oh my god, fucking stop. They're playing the night theme. Cheng Sheng's art can transfer pain and suffering between people, but it cannot reduce the total amount of pain in the world. It's just like we witnessed. Either Jia Liang feared for Jiang Li's life, or Jiang Li grieved over Jia Liang's sacrifice. I have nothing but the utmost respect for my predecessors, who sacrificed their lives for their principles. But I do not wish to join their ranks, nor do I wish to pass on this contract to anyone else in the future. Didn't you already transfer a ton of diseases onto yourself? What makes a poison, poison? And what makes a disease, a disease? When it comes down to it, are not both mechanisms that affect the operations of the human body? Don't put it so lightly. If disease is defined as deviation from normal functioning, then who knows? Perhaps the true elixir of immortality could in fact be a kind of poison. Many may view the notion of searching for immortality in poisons and illnesses as a flagrant violation of the natural order. But to me, it is no different from the way our ancestors tested the medicinal qualities of herbs by sampling each and every one. I don't want those who come after me to lose their lives to this contract. Nor do I wish for Chengsheng to perish from losing her host. This leaves only one solution doesn't it? The elixir of immortality. You have to become immortal yourself. Precisely. I will be Changsheng's final host, and the tradition of passing down the contract will end with me. Even the gods of old struggle to achieve true immortality. No, erosion. First you want to save others, then you want to save yourself. Now you even want to save me. You're getting greedy, Baiju. Hmm... But isn't wanting to have it all what makes us human? Huh... For once, Paimon just does not know what to say! Dr. Baiju! Oh. Traveler! What are you still chatting about? The food's about to get cold! We also have coconut <laughs> milk for Changsheng and Paimon. Okay, fine. Let's go grab some food. Paimon has a bunch of burning questions, but they can wait till after we've eaten. Oh, Paimon, leave some grub for me. <sighs> I do envy Paimon sometimes. Eating her fill is enough to satisfy her body and mind. <laughs> Baiju's not that simple. <laughs> True. And yet, although we call them simple pleasures, are such things as these not precisely why we mortals cling desperately to the life we have? Wow. Dude, ah. Uh, that's one of the most emotional story quests I've played. The whole story quest just had me feeling down from the get-go. Even after, like, a Jia, Jia Liang was cured. 
it, it, that whole fuck. Oh, the lengths these people go to to save what is dear to them, especially Baiju. Like the fact, look, Jia Liang and Jiang Li, they were they were parents, husband and wife. They were willing to sacrifice each other for each other for the other. While Baiju does the same, but to patients that are complete strangers. He absorbs the disease, the, 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 the disease and viruses that could be fatal to him. They probably don't even know. They probably don't even know just how much... <laughs> the amount of help they really got from Baiju. Wow, okay. That, that, was, that was so sad. But very well written, though. This story really told me almost everything there is to know about Baiju, actually. Basically, all the mysteries behind him, like all the mysteries I thought of, it's been cleared from this story quest alone. Plus, there was a very good, good like, story behind that to back it all up. We even got to know how Changsheng came to be. I'm happy for the family, but I also feel quite shitty knowing that Baiju ultimately, I mean, you know, I respect it. I respect the guy for what he's trying to achieve. He's taking on so much for himself. It's like that thing, like, uh, um, I don't know, when you're a hero, you can't save everyone and Baiju's like, hey, try me. Really drew me in this one. I can't, I can't be the only one that felt like this when I finished the story quest, right? Hey, good job, Mihoyo. You? you know, got me, got me feeling shitty on a Monday night. You know, I, I gotta applaud the story writing here. Oh, thank you lot for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. You know, at least you know, who was, was suffering through depression together with me throughout this reaction. Let me know what you thought about the story quest and Baiju, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.